Good morning to you all, oh my wonderful people. Good morning to you all, uh, the lovers of Okute in the Toko. Good morning to you all, oh, the lovers of the Biafran Freedom. And good morning to the family out there, viewers and subscribers, anywhere where they are begging. Make it draw close, oh, collect my greetings. Anyway, oh, uh, for those of us oh, uh, who have been waiting for the final day, they call it a judgment day of the tribunal. It has come and gone. Now is the time to face the main, the main what? The main reality of the show. What Nigeria is going to see is a renewal of the Shege, which they have already started to see it 100 days in office. I saw a headline that uh, the so-called uh, APC and the Flani president is about to celebrate 100 days in office. And I asked, what is him celebrating? Achievement or... Is him uh, indirectly celebrating the hardship of Nigerians? That one is story for another day. When I told my people and uh, those people who keep on shouting, Obi, 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 I said, my dear, listen to me, Nigerians have already been programmed to be ruled by two sections of the country. When not rule, 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 they will just mistakenly pass it to the south, south, or southwest. And when you ask them, they will tell you south, uh, southwest, south, uh, south, south, and the southeast is the same. Because uh, there are, are three zones. While in the north, they have a north central, uh, north east, and north west. That is a three zone as well. But uh, according to Nigeria geopolit geopolitical uh, zone, what we have is north, south, and south. You understand? That is a south. Uh, southwest is comprises of uh, the south south, while south east is on their own, and the uh, north. Whether or not it's northwest or north central, all can be combined together. That is it, the amalgamation of the three different countries into one country by the so called uh, British, British colonial masters. Well, uh, my uh, uh, obedient uh, watchers and also my obedient supporters and fans, I say, make a use this opportunity to say, everybody, make on a do what? Make on a sorry. Uh -huh, because uh, if you're expecting the tribunal to sack uh, the so called Okbolo, we don't sit down for us, or my dear, you're making a very big mistake because since 1990 today, there's no any government or whatsoever. Instead, instead, eh, they will send all the whole judges into prison if if they ever think of a such. Um, if you listen to that uh, uh, Sa uh, Aruna Samani, Abe Simon Samani, who is reading the judgment yesterday, you got to understand that a, pre a lot of pressure was on him. And that uh, judgment is not being written by him. No, 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 no. That judgment have been have been comprises of uh, Mary Odile and Fashola, Olani Peko and Fabemi, the the newly appointed uh, 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 Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. Anyway, what do you expect in a country that don't have law? The same Aruna Samani is the one who stay of execution of the case of Martin Namdekano. So you people are expecting, oh, he's going to give a. A fair judgment to P2B, the same Igbo, Igbo guy. No, 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 no. Don't expect that, my dear. If you're expecting that, you're just making a very big mistake. Anyway, my wonderful people, that is not the issue we have for today. Um, uh, another uh, prominent Nigerian man, who uh, Elder uh, Spokesman, and also uh, Elder Statesman, and also uh, a very big figure in the Christian, uh, in the Christendom, and also in the Catholic, uh, this Catholic uh, something something. Uh, Bishop uh, Archbishop uh, Onara, he don't come out to con describe uh, Mazin Namdekano in one word, and that word is what I'm about to read to you now. Namdekano is a time bomb in the hands of his captors, Archbishop Onara. Namdekano, dead or alive, he is a hero. That is uh, the word he used to categorize Mazin Namdekano and explain how mighty this uh, this guy. That we are following is nobody knows, but we know. The north, the south, uh, the south south. Everybody know about Mazen Namdekano, and they know what he's capable of doing, and that is why they are afraid to let him go. They are afraid to let him go because, <laughs> and ever see even Ojugu could not. Ojugu only take us to war. We couldn't accomplish anything under under the under the regime of Ojugu as a Biafran uh, lord. Or as a Biafran leader, but Mazen Namdekano, intellect is what it is called for. Anyway, my wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers, I beg go. We want to go straight to the reason why we are here this morning. If you are never subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you are waiting for. Please do that anytime soon. Like my uh, my content, 
uh, comment on it subscribe and also make sure you share this message so that you get to every nooks and crannies so without not taking much of our time good morning once again let us read in between the lines <coughs> sorry my dear the Methodist Archbishop of Okigwe Archdiocese and Bishop of Okigwe most reverend Bere, Bere Mou, Abi, okay, Beron Livinusu, Onara, has warned that the continued detention of a leader of the uh, indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazin Namdekano, is a time bomb in the hands of Nigeria and the people holding him. Archbishop Onara, who was reacting to the alleged media publication that the Ohanese Ndibo is pleading, with another elders and Asare Dokubo for the release of Mazin Namdekano, described such plea coming from an Igbo group as a arrant nonsense, saying that Ohanese Ndibo is led by Chief Emmanuel Iwanyahu or any responsible Igbo group cannot beg northerners, northern elders, or a Niger Delta ex militant who is still publicly brandishing AK 47 for the release of Mazin Namdekano. Archbishop Onara said, that Mazikano did not commit any offense and the cause of competent jurisdictions in Nigeria has cleared him of all the charges leveled against him and therefore here is no reason okay there's no reason to plead to anybody for his release describing uh, Mazin Namdekano as a hero and, and the voice of Ndibu Archbishop Onara said that the only crime Mazin Namdekano has committed is just being an Igbo man and standing up like no one in recent times to demand for what rightly belongs to the Igbo people. The Methodist Archbishop wondered why over 50 years after the Nigerian Civil War ended, the Nigerian state and Nigerians are still bearing grudges and treating the Igbo as if they are not part of the country. Allow them to go, you said no. According to Archbishop Onara, I read today in a newspaper that Ohanese Ndibu is pleading with another elders and Nasser Dokubo for the release of Mazin Namdekano and I wonder if such report is correct. Well, you can target correct or you can target incorrect, but our people really don't know how to approach matters. That is a simple truth. It really beats my imagination if Ohanese Ndibu has done something like that. Or do we now have two strands of Ohanese Ndibu in Nigeria? Number one is such plea. Uh, should be made such plea should be made should it be to to such trans uh, to such inappropriate quarters what is the crime or offense that Namdekano committed and why is Namdekano is still in captivity number two on that basis or on the basis of uh, anybody or group pleading for Namdekano's release are you pleading because he committed a treasonable felony which the court says he did not commit or are you pleading because he has broken any other law of the country what exactly is anybody or group pleading for if that story is really true according to bishop onara namdekano has done nothing wrong to be detained for this long the only crime of kano is that he is an evil man and has stood up like no one in recent times to save Ndibo, like Moses of the old, in the hands of Pharaoh. Related news. Reps, sumo ministers, AGF orders over failure of mass transit scheme palliatives, blood money. Hijack. Eat at your peril. You know, once acquire bomb, eh no, once acquire bomb sharing committee, 25% votes Abuja not special than other states. Tribuna, this, tribuna dismiss Obi's uh, claim. Let me say it again that any Igbo man who is trying to plead for the release of Namdekano without giving us reason why he is doing that is only begging the issue uh, for me. Namdekano is a hero in life and also in death. He is asking like no one done have done as or is doing now what rightly belongs to Ndibo? yes you stopped the Ndibo or, or the nigeria biafra war in 1970 1970 to 1980 is 10 years 1980 to 1990 is 20 years 1990 to the year 2000 
is 30 years. Year 2000 to 2010 is 40 years. And 2010 to 2020 is 50 good years. This is 53 years after the civil war ended and the so-called Nigeria state is still be, be beating grudges against Nibo. Why? What did the Igbo people do wrong in Nigeria, according to Archbishop Onara? Like I said in my previous write-ups, that before the Nigerian Civil War, we were at the end of affairs of economic life in this nation. Was it not an Igbo man who were at the helm of affairs in the educational sector and the institutions in this nation? Was it not Igbo who were at the people at the at the people at the helm of affairs in the transportation industry in Nigeria. Were they not Igbo men? And what happened in those days? Yes, I remember that in those days, Igbo men went up to the north and established secondary schools like Igbo Grammar School in Kano, Igbo Union School, all over places that trained both Igbos and non Igbos. And the people from other nationalities living in Nigeria, it is Igbo man. Is that is that a crime or sin of Igbo man in Nigeria? Igbo men were given bushes to develop because they didn't want them in cities, and they gave them uh, bushes they called sabongeri in the northern Nigeria. And Igbo men opened and developed them to cities. Is that a crime or sin of Igbo men in Nigeria? You go to the Yoruba land, all the swampy areas. Yoruba land, particularly in Lagos, they pushed Igbo into the swamps and they recovered and reclaimed those swamps from the rivers and developed them to cities. Is that the sin and the crime of an Igbo man, according to Archbishop Onara? I really want to know why those who are said to be pleading for the release of Mazen Namdekano, why they are doing that? If Namdekano says that Nigeria is a zoo, is he far from the truth? With what is happening in Nigeria today, a place where somebody will commit crimes and offenses and you will leave the person and be chasing an innocent person to punish, leaving the substance, object, and chasing shadow. Nigeria leave offenders and pursue law abiding people. Lawbreakers are everywhere, walking free, while innocent people are humiliated and pushed on daily and punished and on daily basis. In Nigeria today, as I said to be a former Nigerian or Nigerian uh, Delta militant, brandishes AK-47 in the open to all Nigerians and threatens whoever he likes. Ex-militant, the military and police saw him. Nobody talked up to this moment. But Nam the Colonel never lifted a gun and you have called him terrorist and all sorts of names. When he say that his, his place is a zoo, is he far from the truth. Is this not a zoo where the lion will eat every animal and brandish all sorts of power and kill anything it wants to kill? If anyone or group is pleading with the northern elders and Asari Dokubo is to release Mazinam the Kano, you are simply making a mistake. Such is a misplaced play. They are not the owners of Nigeria and have no such powers to determine who is free and who is not. I am not uh, sure that Ohanez and Dibu as led by the power, as okay, as led by respectable chief Sir Emmanuel Iwanyahu, will ever descend to such level to plead for the release of Kano when the court of competent jurisdictions has set him free from every charge they maliciously leveled against him. Pleading to who? Nam the Kano will rather choose to stay in detention instead of accepting his freedom on condition of such plea. He is never a coward. He is a time bomb waiting to explode in the hands of those Nigerians and those holding him. The earlier you realize him, the better for you and the country. So anybody who is pleading for his release is making a hell of mistakes. And no true Igbo man will plead for his release. It is those, it is those sellouts that will do such rubbish. For me, Nam De Kano is the voice of Igbo people. If you imprison him, you have imprisoned every Igbo man. What type of life are we still living in this nation? We are to the most mat uh, materialized section of this country. The North 
where you have Boko Haram and bandit is free and uh, you vacant or you vacant you vacant travel long distance from just to Medugi, just to Kaduna, just to Sokoto in the night you will not see any military or police check points but here in the east every two poles you see military and police checkpoints not that they are providing security but extorting motorists and traders in our land anyway this one is part of the story we have for you this morning another one here is tribunal judgment i didn't expect justice according to chuku emeka uh oputa about yeah just oputa popular known as uh, charlie boy he said and i quote the maverick singer and support of P2B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Charles Oputa, aka Charlie Boy, has stated that he wasn't expecting justice from the presidential election petition court. Daily Post reports that the presidential election petition court in Abuja declared on Wednesday that Pre President Bola Metunumbo was not uh, convicted in the United States and also declared that he did not need to win 25% of the votes in the Federal Capital Territory to be declared president as argued by the Labour Party and its presidential candidate P2B in their petitions. Justice Haruna Samani, head of the five-member bench, said the voters in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, were equal to every other voter in the states in Nigeria. Hence, Abuja had no special status. Reacting via his expert, Charlie Boy said the judgment showed that Nigeria are not yet tired of suffering. He wrote, I didn't expect justice, but I have a strong feeling, say, we never really tire of suffer. Like Yusuf, that he said, the fate of the common man doesn't lie in the hands of the judiciary, but in the hands of the common man himself. He be like, say, we never ready. According to Chukwe Meka, Charles Oputa, group urges Omahi to extend the his cement technology to rose in the southeast. Cement technology to rose in the southeast. Okay, according to them, a group of coalition of Southeast Youth leaders has called on the Minister of uh, Works, Engineer Dave Omai, to extend his cement constructed roads to strategic roads in the Southeast. The group said it has confidence in the appointment of Omai as Minister, saying that his roads in Ebony and other infrastructures are evidences that he is a, a tailor made for this job, according to the group. The group stated this. In a press a statement signed by a president, uh, president general of uh, of the group, Mr. Goodluck Ibem, he said, "The Ibom state of today, that is being used as a reference point, was once looked down on in terms of infrastructure and other sectors used in measuring development and success. But Senator Umahi came and turned the table around with his engineering medical touch." and the state became another Dubai or salt. We urge Senator Umahi to extend his engineering magical touch to Aba, Enugu, Expressway, Umahia, Ohafia, Arochuku Road, Umahia to Bende, Ohafia Road, Aba to Ikoto Ekwene Road, Aba to Opobo Road, Uwero to Anosha Road, Enugu to Anosha Express, Usina to Akokwa, Anambara Road, and other federal roads that need urgent attention in the southeast geopolitical zone. The group said, when Omahi brings his uh, God-given engineering magical acumen to be our Nigerians, we be proud to say they are Nigerians because he is a man who knows his onion in the field of engineering and structural designs. He has shown that he is a round park in a round hole. His appointment as a Minister of Works by Bolambe Tunumbu is worthwhile. The cement technology introduced by Senator Umahi in some construction of roads remains the best form of modern and construction and design that will stand the test of time, while also reducing costs and wastage on the past of the federal government. Roads constructed with cement technology has the posterity to last up to 30 to 50 years, which is big boost to our economy and that is the simple truth anyway my wonderful people viewers and subscribers now here go take leave on a, a beg make on a help me share this message let it be known that prominent nigerians are speaking out on this uh, very very issue of mazinam decano both bishops both clergymen, 
uh, single and married men, everybody is on the course for the release of Mazin Namdekano. Well, whichever way we see it, you, but I must make you to understand that Mazin Namdekano have not committed any crime or whatsoever or been known to the law as of today. We are I'm talking to you. So, anyone that's still holding Mazin Namdekano is uh, indirectly uh, holding the 70 to 75 million Igbos or the Biafrans uh, at hostage. And uh, according to Archbishop uh, Onara, he said dead or alive, Mazin Namdekano still remains what? He remains the, the, the hero of all this anyway my wonderful people viewers and subscribers i beg help me share this message like comment and also make sure you do what make sure you share this message so that you get to every nooks and crannies of this nation have a nice day may the good lord bless you as you do this the father the son and of the holy spirit and i come your way again i see the man who could the daily talk they're gonna use this one to i'm coming back again bye for now